global challenges and opportunities. Uh, we will, of course, recall that this is in the context of transforming the future of money. But in a way, if you wish, a SWOT analysis, okay? Challenges and opportunities. Uh, I would like to start, and uh, then Jean-Louis might uh, add some additional questions. And I would like to uh, phrase my points as what if questions. Um, and I would like to start with the perceptual frame, which is prescribed for us, and uh, to offer a couple of questions on their, that subchapter, the perceptual frame. And um, I would like to continue where uh, Gary and Thomas finished. Um, uh, Thomas was referring to crises and in plural crises. And uh, Gary was referring to short term and long term. And uh, I would very much would uh, suggest as a question or mm -hmm. ask as a question whether we should think as parallel potentially tracks short term and long term. Uh, in a way, coming back to the notion of crisis, uh, you will <laughs> recall Machiavelli who said that uh, never they raised the opportunity offered by a good crisis. And my question is whether the crisis in plural might not be just good crisis, but two good crises. Okay, a big uh, question mark again. And uh, I might suggest that we spend a bit of time on the short term while it's parallel. Ooh. And we try to visualize what I would call the day after. The day after for me is October 2008, for example. Okay. Uh, under the, uh, the short and uh, long term uh, uh, element, uh, there might be a, a question whether the short term trajectory as we can foresee, and there are futures in plural, so those who are futurists will remind us. So under those uh, trajectories, uh, could it be that there is a train pulling out of the station in terms of the Machiavelli option, which might not return for some time based on the length of how these cycles work, the, mainly the bust cycle I'm referring to here. So we will have to probably, again a question mark, depart from the uh, UN type of classification where 2015, 2030, uh, which goes for SDGs, which goes for many other issues, okay? And look out for uh, unfortunate too good crisis opportunity which might not return quite for some time. Um, I refer to in my introduction that under the, uh, the frame, the perception, perceptual frame, the boundaries might matter. So uh, I think it was a macroeconomist, and there are macroeconomists, uh, I think it was Larry Summer who said in his uh, 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 secular stagnation speech in 2013 that finances are too important to be left for the financier. Okay, so what can I say? I am a pure, uh, pure diplomat. But I think we have to address the externalities. And the question is, where do we stop with the externalities? Uh, of course, the SDGs already uh, practically aggregating a huge, huge pool of externalities, but one will have to go look beyond SDGs, uh, uh, directly speaking, Paris uh, and, the, and the climate change is more than just the SDG, and then you have the Sendai framework and other issues. So the, this is one set of questions. The other set of questions is, uh, it's related to, uh, to, we are speaking about crises, and I will ask the question, and I'm the asking the questions, aren't we speaking anymore about emergencies, okay? And in the climate change, it's acknowledged, 
And I would like to pay attention that it will have to be acknowledged not just for climate change, and it's, it's not taking away oxygen from the climate change, but it has to be acknowledged for the whole set of these problems coming too much together, uh, uh, like if visualized space-wise and time-wise, okay? Uh, and uh, we might ask the question again, uh, similarities. So uh, like pre-2008, uh, we, we are not, uh, we are not, we are above the rules of physics in terms of inertia. Uh, there will be no repetition of 1929, 1933 uh, we heard uh, pre-2008. So the, the question is, is there any reference point? Is there anything which, uh, in terms of the uh, stagnation, uh, which uh, we witnessed in the 1930s, but more importantly, probably in the 1870s, 1890s onwards, which uh, led to war preparations and which led to wars. And in the 19th century, it was not inevitable, not inevitable. So we have to have this look because the way it might go will, as I mentioned in my question, kick back on the narrow boundaries of the economy and the narrow boundaries defined for the, for the financial interaction. Okay? And there was a request, let's move beyond the uh, boundaries. Uh, um, the, the other issue is how okay, then we go back to, to the narrow issue of financial and, and monetary issues. Uh, we, those who are experts, record from different publications that banking crisis, currency crisis, default crisis, inflation deflation crisis are a phenomena of the last 900 centuries. This was a title for a, for a defining uh, a book. The question is, okay, these are triggering additional dominoes to fall, social employment and other dominoes to fall, but can we go back to these elements and see them as uh, how to stop the, this, this domino effect, how be not the source of the problem, but the solution to the problem in, in this narrow framework. And this is, this is the challenge for us. And the last uh, uh, set of questions is, we know uh, that the, we don't have the resources as it stands now in the traditional perception frame we are having. We don't have the low end, 1.5 to 2.7 trillion per year. This is the lower end of the, of the estimates. And the higher end of the estimate is something like 13 trillion per year. This is the Rockefeller Foundation, which defined as 13 trillion per year to tackle the SDG uh, uh, issues. We don't have that. But, and this is the question, and this is the day after question. If we, as a group of people, like uh, Ben Bernanke and, um, uh, and Hank Paulson in the US were asked in October 2008 by the President of the United States what we are doing now. And it was, it was a couple of hours to suggest proposals. And within these hours, suggestions came up that we, we will have to do something like TARP. We have to inject massively $800 billion in the economy, we have to practically nationalize banks. Okay, this is, this is practically what happened in the US. So if this group will be asked, I don't know when, in two months or in two years time, so what is your solution for today? Do we have this solution, which is consensus-based solution, so we don't have to start. For me, SDG is consensus. For me, Paris climate change is consensus. For me, Sendai framework for risk reduction is consensus. But do we have, do we have this answer? Or do we have the answer in terms of tools? So what is our tools? We will not have like 10, 15 years to uh, uh, find you the tools. What is the simple tool? or what is the networking system within which we, uh, we put that. So uh, my inclination is, do we have, as a question, do we have the KISS, keep it simple, stupid principle, okay, for the short-term solution? 